What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I have something cool to show you today. I was really excited when I got home and saw this at the doorstep and I've been waiting on it for a long time. So what's in the little cardboard box you ask? Well, this is the small rig vlogging mounting plate for the Nikon Z50. And I am really excited about what this is going to allow me to do with that camera in the future. So in today's video, what we're going to do, unbox this, uh, also show you how to install it on your camera, and talk about why I chose to pick this up in the first place. There's also one added benefit to this that I hadn't quite considered that I might get from it, and I'll tell you about that at the end of the video. Let's get it unboxed and take a look. Okay, so there's not much to the box that this comes in, just a nondescript brown cardboard box with the small rig logo on the side. So let's get it unboxed. There we go, not much in the box. Let's take a look though. Looks like we get a QR code that probably gets you to their customer service with some instructions on the back and the good stuff. Here it is, the small rig vlogging plate for the Nikon Z50. Uh, really not much to this design, but it does feel really sturdy. It is all solid metal construction with a couple rubber pads on the bottom to ensure that it doesn't slide around when it's attached to your camera. On the front, you can see the small rig logo. And on the grip side, you'll notice that you do get a cold shoe mount as well as a couple other quarter inch threaded mounting holes. And over on the right side, this is why you buy this in the first place. Nine quarter inch threaded holes to basically move the tripod mount from here, the center of your camera, to underneath the grip. Uh, the reason you want to do this on the Nikon Z50 is it's a fantastic camera, but it does have a flip down screen, which is great if you're hand holding the camera, but if you want to put it on a tripod, it completely obscures that screen. All right, now that we've got it unboxed, let's show you how to connect it to the camera. With me today, the trusty Nikon Z50, quarter inch thread mount on the bottom. Let's talk about how we get this on the camera. So they've cleverly included a screwdriver in the bottom of this, which is magnetic. So hopefully you won't lose it. I think that's a really nice touch. Shouldn't be too complicated. We're just going to take this center tripod mount and line it up. And then take my flathead screwdriver, give it another quarter turn to make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure to put that screwdriver back on the mounting plate and you're good to go. What do you think? I like it. I think it looks great. One thing I hadn't really thought of when I got this is what it's actually gonna do for the feel of the camera when using it in the future. And honestly, it's great. The Nikon Z50 is a very small body. This gives you just a little bit more room on the bottom for your pinky to go without having to hang off the edge, which I really like. It fits really well, it feels really sturdy. I don't think it's gonna twist off or anything. Okay, so we've got our vlogging plate installed on the bottom of the Nikon Z50. Let's see what we do next. I am currently kind of using the Joby Gorilla Pod as my vlogging rig, so I'm gonna use the mounting plate from that, and we're gonna stick that in one of the quarter inch threaded holes that's now underneath the grip. Success, installed. So now I have my mounting plate on the side. This is on the right side as opposed to being in the center. Why do you wanna do that, you say? Well, the Nikon Z50, amazing camera, and it has this really cool flip down screen. The only problem is if you have a tripod, that screen doesn't do you a lot of good. Enter the small rig mounting plate. We just slide that mounting plate in, and there's our camera. You now have a screen that you can look at on the bottom. Super cool. Why is this thing also cool? Well, let's take a look at what else you can do with this. So cameras typically only have the one hot shoe mount on top of the camera, which is where you would stick your microphone. Well, let's stick our microphone there. Rode Video Micro, very common vlogging microphone that a lot of people have that's on top. Pretty sweet little rig so far. We have a flip down screen that we can see. We have a hot shoe for the road up top. Now, one cool thing that I mentioned earlier is on the grip side, you get an additional cold shoe mount. Enter the Aperture ALM9 light. And there we go. Check this vlogging rig out. This is sick. We have our audio, we have our video monitoring, and we also have 
our lighting if you are in a dark environment or something like that. This is cool. This is really cool and I'm excited to use this. All right, so that's just about it. Uh, like I said, today's video was just unboxing it, showing you how to put it on the camera and showing you what it can really do. Practicality of how it's gonna work in the field, I think it's gonna be great. I'll have to test it out further, but I think I'm gonna be really happy with it. The Z50 is an amazing video camera. I think it has really great video audio focus, despite what people say about Nikon gear and video. It's so good. In fact, I find it more reliable than the M50 that I'm currently using right now to film this video. This, this just looks awesome. Screen, light, microphone. It's 2020 and you can vlog on a Nikon, guys. I almost forgot to show you the unexpected benefit that I'm getting from the small rig vlogging plate on the Nikon Z50. And this is a problem that I know a lot of filmmakers have had. So let's talk about that. This might be a really simple fix to a very annoying problem that you might have experienced just like I did. Okay, as you can see, I have the DJI Ronin SC. This is a stabilizer gimbal. It's awesome, right? It gives you super smooth, cinematic, stable footage, and it's a super affordable gimbal as far as those go. But, 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 this is the Tamron 10 to 24, 3.5 to 4.5 lens that I actually kind of did a review in the last video. Uh, I tell you what, I'll throw a card above. You can check that out up here. And this is an awesome lens, but it is kind of heavy, and that presents a problem for the DJI Ronin SC. Here's why. The clearance between the back of the camera and this motor right here is it's not a lot. And with the weight of this lens, you have to have a lot of the weight shifted to the back in order to properly balance your gimbal. Well, before, I was unable to use this in flashlight mode, which is basically when the camera is out like that because the back of the camera, the eyepiece, would hit this motor and prohibit it from going into the flashlight mode. The small rig vlogging plate adds just enough weight to the back of my camera that I can actually use the gimbal in the way that I want to. Look at that. I mean, it's still very close, but by taking the eyepiece off of the back of the camera, I can use it the way I want to with the lens that I want to use it with. Super awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.